This is Mungo Dark Matter and welcome to Dark Matters. Today on Dark Matters we're going to do a tech kit tutorial on how to power our quarry with solar power. Alright, we have a basic quarry set up right here and it's running with just one steam engine at the moment. Um, what we have here is of course uh, some piping that's routing the blocks that are being dug up into these two chests. All right, so, and if you look over here, it's, it's digging along. It's a new quarry, so it's not very deep yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, knock out the power to that, take away the uh, redstone, and get rid of the uh, engine. So now we need a new power source to this. And uh, the way you... Um, use electricity to power quarry is not by putting a uh, electric motor on it's by using something called an energy link and we're going to uh, put that right next to the quarry here so it can power it now what we actually do now is we'll take uh, some uh, copper uh, wiring here and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the solar panel around this side for demonstration purposes and uh, these are actually solar arrays so I'm going to start with one solar array and put it here and if we go over here you can see it started back up again and it's it started up that's just using one one solar array right now. If I break the link, it should stop again in a minute. I think it waits till it gets to the end of the line. And so the machine stopped. Add the link back in, it starts back up again. Now, you've got to be careful how long you make this copper wire. Now, the only reason I have it like this is because I'm trying to keep it all on the same level. Uh, if we knock this out right here, we can put a bat box right here. Now the bat box will charge up once we get the solar panel in it, of course. And uh, but what we gotta be careful of is this orange dot here is the uh, output on the bat box. So we want to come back up here and uh, place the bat box here. So this is. Um, this is where the power is going to come out. All the other sides are inputs on the bat box. So what we'll do is we'll uh, add on to this. 
and it's connected to the bat box and then we'll uh, connect here and we'll put down the solar panel right there or solar array actually and if we right click on the bat box you'll see it's charging up now it's not charging up real fast and uh, it's actually powering the quarry so most of it's passing through so what we want to do is uh, add another solar array right here not connected. Let's uh, get back here. Hold on a second. Put two solar arrays here and we're going to put copper wire connecting both of them together. Get a little more power there. Uh. All right, so now it's uh, getting a little bit more power. We want to add some more solar arrays to it to see if we can actually charge up the battery. Let's see what happens when you add two more. Levels raising a little bit, so now it's. That's doing a little better, and uh, I think if we have. S six solar arrays. And yeah, now the level is raising up some, and now this bar is moving. So if we have six solar arrays, this battery will actually juice up. So it's not only. It's not only powering the quarry up to full power, it's we're getting excess power. And um, see, it's moving a lot faster now, too. Uh, we're getting extra power, so it's backing up on, on battery, which means that once this battery fills up, uh, we'll have some power so when it gets cloudy or dark at night, uh, the quarry will keep on going and says stopping. Uh, now you don't need this bat box. It will run with just the arrays as I showed you initially. Even just one array. Uh, but it will not run at night because there's no sunlight at night. And if it gets uh, cloudy or rainy, it, it will also stop if there's not enough light. Uh, the other thing you have to do is you have to kind of plan for how the array is um, put down because um, of the way you lay out your um, or you want to lay out your uh, quarries depending how close you want your quarries together it may depend on where you put your array uh, so that's something you can plan out. Um, this isn't necessarily the optimal layout here. Uh, for example, you might we might have pulled out the array out in front here, but the ground is not even here, so it was easier to pull it out to the side in this case. All right, so that's how you power a quarry with solar power and with tech kit. I'm Mungo Dark Matter, and this has been Dark Matters, and whatever you do, enjoy playing Minecraft.